So, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Quantum Production video. Today I'll show you how to make the famous orange and teal look. So, let's cut to the chase. First things first, is our, our picture. Later, little underexposed, but no worries. Next, how you actually do the teal and orange looks. Many people just come here to the U and drag down the blues, not so much, about 70%, and drag the yellows and oranges, but no, that doesn't really work that well. So, that's it, all that, and I'll show you the real way how you make it. Origin to go down to the camera calibration blue primary M minus 100 then play around with the saturation depending on the photo I just keep it around 20 then red primary drag it along to the orange about 70 oops plus 7. Then again, play around with the saturation. About... Mm. 40, yeah. Keep it that way. Next up, let's work the picture itself. Now, that is for all the orange and teal looks. From now on, it's depending on the picture. In this case, I'll boost up the warmth of the photo just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. Uh, five. Yeah, that looks good. Bump the contrast a little bit. Thirty. Boost up the blacks and the shadows and bring the whites down just a little bit. The whites, no, the highlights. See that sky? Yeah. 20, the blacks are too big. Too white. That's good. So this down portion is a little bit underexposed, so. Let's pick up a filter and filter it with plus 0 0.30, no, 70, yeah, that looks good. Just a little less contrast, whoa, whoa, what, never mind. Minus 10 contrast and a little less clarity and less sharpness so it gets a little bit out of focus. Done. Okay, not bad. <clears throat> Let's boost the overall clarity about 50. Drop the saturation and boost the vibrance. See? One more thing I find that fits really well this style is to elevate the whites just a little bit and get some deeper, more opaque blacks. Just like that. See? That blacks are awesome. Next step, you can play around with the blues. Make it a little bit more teal or more bluish. Your preference. 
make the oranges more red maybe just minus 20 mm -hmm. and the really important one is to play around with saturation see that orange plus 40 it feels really well next up I want to isolate that drunk guy in the middle of the road so radial filter and make it around him increase the feather and invert the mask sorry yeah that's right now make it zero exposure increase the contrast not too much increase the clarity the sharpness okay that's too much too much clarity you know you gotta fine-tune the things at your taste so use this guidance at your own will the most important thing is to be creative you know let's boost the highlights maybe just 0 0.15 25 exposure let's increase the feather a little bit more and then let's go to history yeah just a really smooth yeah I like that maybe I'll just add a, another filter just here press reset this add tiny clarity that's how you make the orange and teal look let's see before and after Okay, I'll leave my presets on the description for download, just in case you want to use it. Let's see the preset in action. So... Where the fuck? Preset, still an orange. See that? Okay, the preset... In this case, you gotta fine tune the preset so the blacks don't go too deep. And then just tune this part of the editing to your liking and to your picture. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. And keep up the good work. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page in the description down below. So you can check out my street photography and my current projects.